What is up everyone, Gunpla Collection here, and today I'll be doing a review on the Guan Yu Yunchang New Gundam from the new SD Sengoku Sokatsudin line. Now before I continue with the review, I just want to say, if you enjoy the content that I'm putting out, smash that like button, comment on the video, and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to smash that bell notification icon so you don't miss out on any new videos posted every Tuesday at 12pm Pacific Standard Time. Alright, let's get into the review. Now this kit is the second kit in the series and is one of the most beautiful due to the clear green parts. The kit retails for 600 yen and was released in March 2019. Other than that, let's get to some of the main points of the kit. Alrighty, so with the articulation, the head moves up and down and turn side to side ever so slightly because of the beard it blocks away as well as these huge parts on the cheeks, they block the way. The shoulders, they rotate 360. You get a slight up and down motion and front and back motion before it gets in the way of everything else. Right here on the shoulders, this little clear dragon part moves up and down, side to side, swivels around, and will come off when needed. Right here, the arm is on a ball joint, so it swivels up and down, left and right, and turns a 360. The hand here is on a ball joint, so you get the turn, you get the up and down, slight movement here. Torso-wise, you get a 360 turn, you get some ab crunch, hello dancing. Leg, you don't really get much of movement, you just get this much side to side as well. The foot is on a ball joint, you get a range of action like this, you have slight range doing this, as well as the side skirt is on a peg slash ball joint so you get some slight movements next up is the weapon now this actually looks really cool and it has its own gimmicks so right now it's in the elongated form you can actually shorten it by pegging it into one of these open holes and as you can see here now overall with this kit I only use three stickers so I use the sticker on the eyes and the sticker right here, these red stickers. The reason why I use those red stickers is because the red paint that I used would not stay, so it actually looks a lot better with the stickers, actually, for once. But other than that, this kit is extremely, extremely beautiful, and I highly recommend this as uh, it's something I recommend having in a collection, actually. Uh, other than that, if you guys aren't a big fan of the Sengoku kits, uh, I would definitely recommend grabbing this one just to try it out. Uh, yes, there's a lot of detail and work to put, be put in it, but at the end of the day, all the hard work and everything will pay off and you will get a really beautiful looking SD kit. Overall, I give this kit a 7 out of 10. It looks really nice out of the box, it's just that the gold injection color doesn't really stick with me, so that's why I painted it gold. But other than that, the clear parts are absolutely amazing, and especially once you panel line the clear parts, it stands out even more. Now, putting in all the detail work and painting, you'll get something like this, and it looks absolutely amazing. So, 7 out of 10, I highly recommend this if you've never tried an SD kit out before. This is going to be a great kit to start with. Alright, so other than that, this has been a review of the Guan Yu Yun Chang New Gundam. And other than that, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the other side.